Okie dokie folks, welcome back to Relicia Park, uh, where last time we've been playing with force fields. Well, that's why I'm calling them anyway. Um, and I've realized that I've not been writing down all the passwords that I need, so I might have to resolve some stuff at some point. I know there is like, somebody's made a Google Doc of all the passwords, but I mean, I guess like resolving puzzles isn't that difficult and won't take much time because I can pretty much remember all of them anyway. Um, so we can just do that at some point. I've written down the code from here, um, but we're missing two. We're missing the first and the third code. Like the, I, okay, I was originally talking about the, the passwords at the top. Now I'm talking about the password at the bottom, the, the secret password. Um, but yeah, I'm missing the first and the third digits from that secret password. So let's just try and finish the area and then we'll go back and try and fill in the rest of the code. Okay, pylon 30. Any new mechanics? I don't think so. No. Probably just going to end up using everything that we've we've been introduced to so far. All right, uh, so things are kind of constrained. We've got this area up here. That's an arrow. <laughs> we've got this area up here, uh, and we've got this area down here. We've got this area like this, and then these two bits at the top with the endpoints on them. And that's the only two endpoints, and we've got three start points. No, we're three endpoints and three start points. And we don't have any branching or anything. Okay, so we just need to make sure these three signals go through these circles and clearly these force fields are gonna be responsible for how that happens. So, um, okay, so my instinct is that actually this will stay centered and these will both, both receive signals reflecting off that on two different directions, possibly. Uh, is that feasible? That would mean stuff coming, oh, stuff's gonna have to come out of here in some way, isn't it? So, so obviously things can reflect off these force fields as well, but they're gonna be like above each other. So I can't send a signal. If I send a signal down here now, which I can't even do that, hold on. <laughs> what can I do here? With two signals coming in, oh, I guess these can be brought down. Interesting. Interesting. I think I see something. What do I see? So if like, let's say these were spread further apart, these two things. Um, then we could like come in, reflect down and go to the right. And we could also have something go the other way, but then they would just hit the original starting points. And I can't do anything about that. We don't have any like turns here. So we can't like diverge from the path we came along if we're going along that path. Um, you know what I mean? If, if we're going along a path in reverse, we follow the entire path in reverse. Turns allow that to not be the case. A turn lets you like diverge from the path that from the reverse path, whatever. Um, so, okay, so. So. So it's interesting that we have a rightward facing signal here as well. Like what's that gonna do? It's just gonna either just hit this immediately or it's gonna just hit this and turn off, I guess, but then all that's gonna do is hit like the endpoint up here. So this is necessarily not sending a signal along that row, it's sending it along a different row. So, okay, let's just kind of follow my instincts here. So instincts are that this is gonna to have to go up here and then this is going like maybe there. And then you're doing like this and you're doing this, but this doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. Although maybe it does. <laughs> does it? Mm, no, <laughs> but maybe it can. Because Okay, so what, one other thing that can happen is that you can be here and reflect up to this. So that's now lit up. So now where are you receiving from? From... Somewhere. 
I mean, you could just go over here and be lit up by... Okay, so let's bring this over and this over and this over. Why are you not lit up right now? Oh, because you're in the wrong place, that's why. Uh, are you? Yeah, yes. Okay, so hold on. So no, you'd go down here. What are you down here. Now you're lit up. Now what's left? Uh, we've got to get you lit up. I can imagine this is possible just by rearranging this slightly, like shifting something. I mean, you could go there, but you can't go. So you might go there, and then you might go there. But that means then you have to go there, and we're done. Yay! Just have to shift things along a little bit. Uh, okay, let's point some of that stuff out. So this one is just going here and then down off the force field. It doesn't help that I'm like I'm drawing from the top of the pylons, but I guess I could draw from the on the grid instead. That one's doing that. Uh this one is doing it's going to this circle and then reflecting. Like the reflection point is the same place as the circle. Go down to that circle and then right to hit this one. Yeah, I'm confusing myself with whether I'm drawing on the grid or the top of the pylon. Uh, and then finally, uh, this one is just reflecting here and going up. Ta-da! Okay. Just three more. Uh, three X's down here for some reason, sure. Maybe just to make the, the puzzle look symmetrical. One endpoint, that is the only endpoint, and one start point, okay? It's just a routing thing. Uh, the entire outside edge is connected to all of this, and then there's a four by four region in the middle with these two things in it. Probably you're going more central so that things can reflect off you more. That's my instinct. These things can't get past each other, which is an interesting constraint. They're gonna be in that order. So, what feels likely is that you are pointing into the middle and hitting the corner of this. But then we've got to work out the rest. <laughs> I wonder if, I, okay, so that's probably going there so that the signal can come in, go up. Oh, this thing's not even important, is it? So the signal can come in there and go up and do a bunch of stuff. La 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 la. Uh, and then later on, the signal will come in and go down and hit the endpoint. That would be my guess. So, so then what's the la 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 la? <laughs> Just gonna sort out that bit. Um, well, these are all right turns. So it seems to me like I probably wanna bring, okay, so, well, so I'm expecting that to have to be there, in which case I'm also expecting there to be another one over here. I reckon you're going there. Okay, I think I've got the whole thing. You go there, you go there, you go there. Oh, too far. Bring that down, and we're done. Yay. So, it's coming in, it's going up, it's going to the right, it's going down, it's sitting here, it's going to the right, it's reflecting down through that circle, going here, and then to there. Neat. It's a very satisfying puzzle, it's just like the way they look, the way everything connects up. Pile of 32. This is such a huge game, so many puzzles for each thing, and this is only World 2, holy moly. Okay, it's so a similar setup. Again, no, um, no splitting or anything. Oh, I, I, I see something that looks like it's going to be very relevant. I see that this could go here. Are you just being sneaky? Right turn, right? Yeah, that's the whole thing, isn't it? <laughs> Is that the whole thing? That goes there. We're skipping the thing. And then these two are going, ooh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Like that. Ta da! <laughs> okay, I don't think I need to illustrate that one. Um, pylon 33. It's funny how just seeing what the sneaky trick is is enough for, to solve the entire puzzle, basically. Pile 33. Oh gosh, what did these things do? Something about... Oh, it was a portal. Oh no, okay. So this really is testing everything. 
Um, also, what's this mess going on up here? Okay, so we have to have a signal coming in this way and in this way, because these don't turn or anything, right? So, um, and we got to hit that. So we need three signals going into this section here. And we need a signal to get to this end point. And sorry, that's the start point. Uh, where's the end point? Wait, there is no end point. Oh yeah, okay. So interestingly, the whole thing's connected right now because um, there's no end point. Okay, so we're starting with an up signal down here. Uh, and we could just like let that go into that top area, but then it wouldn't go anywhere. So instead, we want to turn out of there clearly. Now, do I know which column we want to do that on? Not really. Although I like the idea of doing that and then finding a way to reflect back in. It could be there, because then if something came back this way, which it would if we did this. Okay, those two in the top are lit up, that's nice. Okay, now what else do we have happening? Nothing, because we haven't split anything yet. So we only have the one signal. So we need to have split before we do the reflection. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere interesting, are we? But how is that gonna work? We can't get past the force field thing. Oh, but we can go up instead. Ooh, okay, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I think we're going up instead. Through the portal, maybe? I would guess through the portal. Ooh. Okay. Maybe? And then reflecting rightwards, but reflecting up this way is not going to be useful. Like on this column. Or downwards. So no. Wait. Ugh. Okay, so then that implies we want to hit this T junction. Really? And just waste the thing coming down this way? Uh, okay, okay, let's get back to drawing. So right now everything going up and then left and then bouncing upwards and going into this portal, and then going here and then splitting and going upwards. Like I have no idea if any of that's important. Um, I guess like if this is ever gonna work out, well, something's got to hit this, right? And that's not gonna happen. Well, actually it could happen if something goes into the portal rightwards and it reflects backwards that way instead of, so like there and then back rather than down and back. But then the position of that's not gonna matter, but maybe that's fine. Otherwise, we're only hitting this from the top by reflecting down off the force field here. That's the only way that's happening, in which case we'd have to be coming from one of these in which case it'd have to be immediately, but then if we do that immediately, we have a problem. Yes. Okay, so we are hitting this and going back leftwards, I think. So that means we're hitting this, this direction. If we're hitting that, that direction, then how do we wanna get there? I mean, I'm not gonna get there as I'm currently doing things. But then maybe we can come out of the portal. Oh no, I can get there, because right now, if I just do this, it will get there, in fact. Okay, so right now what's happening is, switch to arrow mode, so that's going up there, and then left and bouncing upwards through the portal to there, rightwards, splitting, the bottom one doesn't matter, it's going up, then right into this, coming out that way, reflecting back, coming out that way, turning right again, if we were to hit that and then hit that, could we do anything interesting? Right now, nothing's going into any of these spaces. <laughs> so that doesn't seem great. <laughs> I guess we want something to eventually come back into... Oh gosh, what are we doing? Uh, so where are we right now? We've reflected back, come back through the portal, we've hit here, we're turning upwards this way. So we could hit, hit another turn. We could put that in position. 
And now we've got this going up. I feel like I followed a bunch of things that necessarily have to happen. Then we've got a thing going to the right. Now what could you do? Well, going into the portal isn't useful because it'll just come out downwards. So then going into this, I mean, do you reflect back? Well, I guess if, if, if this reflected back, it would be doing it now because that would turn right, go down, back up again, and then right, and then this would be lit up and it's not currently lit up. So it doesn't reflect back. It only does the force field thing. In which case doesn't, like that, in which case this has to be in this column. Um, if that has to be in that column, then, then none of this initial setup works. Uh, and yeah, just to double check, so the going up and then left and then down and reflecting back is never going to be useful, right? I mean, it, it can turn left and hit these, but then we've just lost the signal. At that point, we've just lost the signal. Although, I guess we could do that twice. Like if we had this, oh gosh, I can definitely feel the game lag sometimes. Uh, now we've got, um, this going up left, well, if that were pushed up, uh, that's coming down, reflecting back up into here, then going up, and then oh, just hitting that and dying. Okay, so not that. That's definitely bad. So, okay, so this has to be true. But then maybe we're doing it on this column, but I don't see how that makes much of a difference for us. I think I'd rather this on this column so that we can hit this going upwards at some point. Okay, so then we're hitting this, we're going up here. Maybe we're not, well, if we turn right now, then we're losing our signal. So no, we're teleporting. We have to be teleporting. Maybe we split now. There was definitely something about the splitting that felt bad, didn't it? Maybe we're splitting like this. In fact, that achieves, that hits here and then we're just going up like this. That's naturally not good. And this just sends a signal going downwards here. So no, that's bad. Going straight into the T-junction. Okay, so then we've got what I had before. Hold on, what if this were here hitting the T-junction and then we turn right? That's interesting. Ooh, then we've got two signals. Okay, so at this point, we have uh, this coming upwards and then one coming out to the right and reflecting upwards off this force field, although that's not useful. <laughs> okay, but we have one going to the left. Maybe that one going to the left can do something useful. Uh, so the one going to the left uh, is gonna hit this. I think we still wanna hit the U. Ooh, this is, this is getting somewhere, isn't it? I think so. I think this is like basically just better than we had before. Four. Okay, I'm gonna to have to draw this out. So it goes up, it goes left, hits the force field, goes up, hits the portal, goes here. Oh, and then we have one going right. I didn't realize, oh no, we don't. I was thinking this would go all the way to here, but uh, no, it hits this force field and just goes off. So I guess we just accept that. I just don't see how that could ever be. Unless we're splitting vertically and going back through the portal but I struggle to see how that would ever happen. We can't have something come in and get there that way. So it'd have to come in this way. And this is a right turn, so we'd have to have something come in the bottom and we can't have that because the portal's here. So no, okay, so let's just accept this. It's going that way. And then upwards. Now, we can go into the thing and then back out. What do we gain by doing that? Nothing really? So we'll come back that way, come back this way, and then tilt that way. But then we're just facing the same way we were going anyway. So I don't know if anything was achieved by doing that. Um, uh, I can hit these. Like this set, I think I can hit. 
by putting... Oh, but the portal did have to be there. Um... Okay, so now I have a suspicion that this and this needs to be in the same column as each other. Which definitely throws a spanner in the works. Because, like, we've got a signal coming this way, and I, I kind of want it to turn down, hit the top right of this force field, and hit this again. But I can't do that because the portal's in the way. So it's almost like what I want is clear, and then imagine it with the situation is that I want that below that. Oh gosh, the game. Uh, and that somehow... Oh, that seems unlikely, doesn't it? Because then how do I ever get anything going into the portal upwards? I don't, but maybe I don't. Whoa, this is tricky. This is very tricky. Um, okay, so... One truth definitely is that this must turn left and hit this force field. It's either going down or it's going up. Down, I've already proven, is always bad, right? Because it's going to come back along the path. And sure, it can turn up into this zone. Or we can do... Wait, wh where did I get to with the idea that we'd be going like... Down there. Oh yeah, because then it just dies here instead. It's funny how you can see some of the lights flicker on for a moment while it's recalculating what's lit up and what's not. Um, so no. This is just inherently bad, this weird setup. So we we, we want to reflect left and then go up, but then right is bad. So it has to go into the portal. From the portal, where do we want to go? This T-junction, what are you doing? What are you doing, T-junction? I'm not using you as a T-junction yet. Now I am, but then one of them is still being lost. I don't know how I would ever avoid that. Uh, unless, okay, so the only way that would not be a problem is if we were coming into this leftwards, which means doing something that's just not possible, but hitting this corner or this corner of the force field. Neither of which is possible. Let's hit this on the left. Okay, other ways we can hit this on the bottom. If we, if we hit the T-junction on the bottom, it has the thing going that way, and then where's that going to go? It's always going to either hit the force field head on and die, or it's going to reflect along this column where it can't do anything useful. Because there's no... The only way that could be useful if there was, like, another force field up here. That would be an interesting puzzle, one where you're, like, reflecting the beam along uh, grass at all times or something like that. Um and just using the, the force fields to keep it on the grass. But anyway, so that, that isn't useful. At least it's, I mean, it might end up being part of the thing, but it's not using the T-junction to its fullest capability. So similarly, if we're coming down into it, right, we go right and we'd have the same problem. So then going this way, I can only get there by reflecting off the force field. We're going this way, I can do it, but then the only way to get there, that's a right turn, uh, so, no, I, I don't think I can use the T-junction. I, I just have to use the T-junction as an either left or, an, or a right turn. I can't use both sides of it, I don't think. However, I have to because, wait, like ultimately I need three signals at the end. Wait, how am I getting three signals? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a very good question. How am I getting three signals at the end of this? Sure, I can like redirect my signal back along itself and, and so it can end up up here, but I need one this way, one this way, and one either here or here. That's three signals. Wait, how is that happening? 
by repeatedly using this? What? You what? <laughs> That's the only way we have of splitting. Oh my gosh, there's clearly something I really don't understand about how this deduction is being used. Okay, what if we are... Oh no. No, 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 no. If my teacher... So I, there has to be some way I can use this teacher and get two signals out of it, right? Two useful signals out of this T junction. And these de these definitely don't reflect, right? So if the um, if if this reflected like on its like the non diagonals on the like uh, orthogonally adjacent spaces, then it would go back in here and it would turn left and it would go up to these and they would be lit up. So it doesn't do that. It only reflects on the corners like that. It's reflecting here, downwards, reflecting back to the right, going up here. Mm -hmm. Okay, how on earth do I do anything with this T-junction? and keep some signals by coming in from either the left or right. This is a right turn, so because I think over in the bottom wouldn't be useful. It's going to the left, it's bouncing off here, going up here. When's this reflector going to get used? Either by something coming out of there. Oh, I mean, yeah, by something coming out of there, the portal. So there is going to be something pointing rightwards into the portal at some point. So probably from up here. Okay. There's some mess of like portaling and reflecting going on here and T junctioning. So it's going this way up into this, and it's going up here. And now, currently, both signals are just dying from this T-junction. We could push you up, and then at least the signal's going up this way. Can we get one of these signals to go back down into the T-junction somehow? What? Who? Why? I feel like I'm kind of close to the solution, and I could stumble into it just by moving things around a bit. What's the purpose of the second thing down here? Maybe to... So that's another left turn. So there's going to be a left turn out of here to hit this, maybe? That circle that needs satisfying? But then that would have to go there. What on earth is going on with this puzzle? Um, this force field only has two positions can go, it can go in. So it's either covering this area or this area. I could change colors. I do have multiple colors. So I could indicate things in better ways. Um, in this area, the only useful reflections are here and here. but I don't have a way out of the starting points. Is that true? So we reflect that way. We reflect back in. That's totally true. There's no way out of that starting point. Is that true? I think so. Goes down here, hits this, bounces back back to the right. It's just going to hit the same one it hit. It's going to go up there. Perfect. Or it's going to turn left and hit the force field in a way that it can't reflect. So that means you definitely go there, right? 
no, no, sorry, you definitely got that. It was not in the position that I was illustrating for. Um, so then this has to turn left and hit here. We don't want to just turn away at this point because then everything's bad. Just lose the signal. So we have to be going through this at some position. I don't know what position. Maybe up here. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting. Uh, no, it's not because then I won't be able to send something rightwards out of it because I have to send something into the left here, which I will never be able to do. So you, this one, are going either this position or this position, I think, according to the deductions I've made so far. More likely that position so that a thing over here can shoot into that space, maybe? But then I haven't figured out a purpose for you yet, which is concerning for sure. This T-junction, what am I doing with you? Something else, clearly. Okay. Shouldn't right now put that there and move this on at the way. Did we light up the thing at the top? No. For a moment I thought, yes, well it's in the way, that's why. Okay, no, yeah, we do. Okay. Um <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, well if you go down there and then you go down here, and then you go there. Then you go, that doesn't do anything. Up here. <laughs> Whew. There's clearly an option I'm not seeing here. Like why is there, a, why would I ever have a reason to put this here? Are those, are those like just inevitably gonna be identical to each other? Not if something reflects down off the force field into that, but that just doesn't seem to be relevant for anything, right? Unless it is, no, it's not. Like obviously something might bounce off that and go back this way, but it doesn't matter about its position. It could be here or to the left. What am I missing here? If I move it to the left, I do not see a purpose for it. It's not like it being to the left gets it out of the way of anything either. Okay, maybe this is no reason to move that, but I don't believe that. Oh, oh, a potential way this could work that I just haven't learned yet is that maybe I could test this, hold on. If I bring you up here, get you out of the way, uh, and then bring this down and bring this up, bring this down. Oh, there's another rule that I didn't know. Okay, so this is going here. I think it's just going through this and then up there and then to the right. Okay, well that changes things massively. Of course I'm learning a new rule on the last level. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. I think I would definitely prefer for that to be already taught in a much simpler puzzle. Um, Cause I certainly haven't used it yet. I assumed it was just like hitting the block and dying, but no, it's going through. I guess some, I guess, no, it's a bit like, it's a bit arbitrary which blocks allow things through and which things don't. Like sure, the one that X doesn't end, but also the starting and end points also don't let things through. And yeah, I think, maybe I don't know the full details of that, but okay, now that we know the rules, <laughs> We might be able to solve this. Okay, it changes things massively. Okay, so the, oh, I'm still in arrow mode, but this T-junction might be, yeah, we might be just, okay, there's so many things that can happen now. All right, so, yeah, this is almost too overwhelming at this point. Uh, so we could be doing something like this. So, okay, so now there's a reason for this to be on the right, which I think we are just like reflecting down and back again. I think that's going there and going through and then T-junctioning. Okay, 
So I'm sort of using the fact that this can move as an argument for doing something, which isn't a great way to solve a puzzle, but whatever, I'm doing it now. So now this is T-junctioning out this way and this way. Oh my gosh, this is complicated now, isn't it? Now I could, so the one that's going into this could just go through this, but then uh, it's not gonna do anything. Right now it's gonna hit there and go to the right, which also isn't gonna do anything. So this actually kind of feels not great right now. But this is actually the only, this is not the only setup I can see for this. Okay, so um, I reckon this is coming back down and then this is going here and this is receiving. Yep, okay. Um, well, I'm on the wrong screen. I've got two copies of my screen now, so I need to remember which one's the one I'm controlling from. Uh, so that's a left turn. So I think this is going like here. This is complicated. Um, <laughs> this is very complicated. <laughs> but then again, this is serving, no, this is gonna be a reflection back to the left from this. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, no. I've done something wrong. Okay, back over to the drawing. You're coming up this way, you're going that way. You're reflecting upwards, hitting the portal, going up there, going there, turning left. Okay, so that's the end of that immediately. So right now, nothing is bringing anything into this portal. Uh... So actually, no, once again, I kind of feel like I am reflecting down to this. I think we're using this twice as a reflector, aren't we? Yeah, I could believe it. Or it's going here and so it's just coming downwards and reflecting back up. Oh no, there are so many options. There are so many options. Like you could be going, so it could be going like up here through this, go down there, and then you going like through that. <laughs> What is this doing right now? Am I done? I'm not done. Something's not satisfied. One of these circles isn't being hit. <laughs> Probably this one. Oh, well, it could be that one, I guess. Okay, let's let's find out where the signal's going right now. So it's going up, left to there, down, down to here, reflecting back up again, back to here. So we're probably gonna have a signal coming out to the left. So we probably wanna be reflecting that up that way which is gonna go, and we also had one going that way already, which is going into this and reflecting back. <laughs> and then going out that way and going up that way. Oh, okay, well if we just move you out of the way, what's being hit now? Uh, uh, okay, what if you're here? I think the door was open for a second there. It was. <laughs> oh, we're so close to a solution here, but not quite. <laughs> this is wild. Maybe that's going into there. Oh, this is, wait, it's open in that position. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling my way towards the answer here. What are you, what purpose are you serving right now? Or maybe a, to get, <laughs> this is just a mess. What's going on? If those two swap over, are they okay? They are. Okay. <laughs> this is a mess, but sure. Okay, so that's going up there, then left, through here, branching out that way. That one's going to hit that. Cool, that one's done. This one's going this way, hitting this. Uh, which goes down through here to hit this and back up again, to hit that again, up, and then it's gonna branch right, which is gonna hit this, wait, this one's, is this one involved? I, I don't know. This one's gonna hit this and go up, <laughs> and then there's also going that way, and it's gonna go there, and it's gonna go there. So this one isn't involved. I feel like this puzzle has multiple solutions, maybe. Whoa, okay, <laughs> we move on with our lives. Pylon end. Uh, so this is, I guess, 10. Um, oh, I've made a mess. 
of my whiteboard. Uh, oh, I've still got my scribbles on the screen. <laughs> okay. Pylon ends. One plus horseshoe plus uh, lightning bolts. Okay. Uh, all right, just all the things are up there, all the pylons. Pylon Memorial, do not forget the name written above you in this room. You may now return to the heart of the forest and use this name to summon the monolith fragments. Right, that's how this game works. Okay, so return to hub. I write it down. It is one plus horseshoe, some strange maths, plus Lightning bolt. Pull the fragment activated. Where do they go? Ah, no. Wait, ooh. Oh, I guess because I re-enter the game, you sort of lose progress. So, um, so the other one I had, is it just the last one I wrote? I hope it's just the last one I wrote down here. One, that, I think that's, oh no, sorry, that's supposed to be a lightning bolt. One lightning bolt. This is the one I got from the first world, I think. Plus zero. Monolith fragment activated from Spire. So now there's two things listed. Okay, so we're just gonna have to do all five once we've got all five uh, because it doesn't remember between play sessions. Okie dokie, folks. I guess next time, one thing we should try and do is find all the secrets in the pylon world, though. And I've I've lost a few passwords, so I'm just going to have to solve a few puzzles again. That should be fine. Shouldn't really be much of a problem. All right. See you next time, folks. Goodbye.